హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ ఈచ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఫర్ దిస్ ఆన్లైన్ సర్వీస్ వీ ఆర్ వెరీ హ్యాపీ అట్లీస్ట్ వీ కుడ్ మీట్ యూ త్రూ దిస్ ఆన్లైన్ వర్షిప్ సర్వీస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ జాయినింగ్ అస్ ఐఎమ్ షూర్ దట్ ద లార్డ్ వుడ్ బ్లెస్ యూ అస్ యూ ఆర్ గన్ బి ఎ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇట్ త్రూ అవుట్ ద సర్వీస్ మే బీ ప్రే ఫాదర్ బీ బాండ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఆపర్చునిటీ దట్ యూ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ అన్ టు ఆస్ దిస్ డే as your children are in the different places in their houses joining in this online worship service i pray that god would bless them oh god encourage everyone with your word and let the presence of god come upon them wherever they are and encourage them in their hearts strengthen their faith i pray oh god let this service be a blessing to each one of us let the grace of god and the blessings of god be upon us in jesus name we pray amen amen Let's join the choir now. They are going to lead us in the time of praise and worship. Wherever you are, join, sing aloud, sing along and join the uh, worship service. May God bless us together. When I look into your holiness When I gaze into your love all things that surround become shadows in the light of you when i found the joy of reaching your heart when my will becomes in front in your love when all things that surround become shadows
tries and thunders roll. Yes, Lord. And I will so will you. sovereign above everything and over every name of God you are God we praise you and we give you glory honor power majesty you deserve it we give you praise the church say Amen and Amen. 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 Praise the hallelujah in the presence of my enemies. I 
Praise the oh, hallelujah Louder than the unbelief Praise the oh, hallelujah My weapon is a melody
us, Lord. You are the king over the storm of God. Hello everyone, such a joy to meet you through this online service. Thank you for joining us. We are going to meditate upon God's word. We will take some time. I know you have your Bibles with you. And uh, I'm going to share a few practical guideline points. Unless until you note it down, uh, we may miss it. You will miss it. So I would encourage you to take down the notes in whatever the way it is possible for you. Shall we take Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16? Ephesians chapter 5 verse 16. I'm reading it from Amplified Version. Making the very most of your faith on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence because the days are filled with evil. So it's very clear because the days are filled with evil, there is a call given unto us. Make the very most of your time. Recognize and take advantage of each opportunity and use it with wisdom and diligence. Okay, the same verse in the message translation. I'm not reading it fully. Just uh, at the first part and the last part, I'm reading it from the message Bible. Don't waste your time on useless work. And at the last part, make the most of every chance you get. Make the most of every chance you get. These are desperate times. So today, this morning, we would like to title this message as Make the Most of Every Opportunity. Make the most of every opportunity as we look at the world today the world is in fear in confusion the great countries with lots of technologies lots of weapons in its hand they are not able to handle this invisible tiny virus it has attacked almost all the countries of the world this tiny invisible virus have brought the world economy down and crash the economy like anything. Companies have been closed down. Many business enterprises have been closed down. Schools, colleges, universities closed down. Look at the airports all over the world. They are closed down in many countries. Railway stations are closed down. Roads are empty. Look at the situation. Many of us have never imagined the situation like that. We are going through this tough, challenging, difficult situation. World leaders, political leaders are trying their level best to do something, but it reminds us a great challenge. Churches, we are not able to come together. Churches, church buildings are closed down. At least we thank God for this opportunity. At least we can stream online. And you can take part in this. We thank God for that. But just imagine if the same condition prevails for a few more weeks like this, what would be the condition? Today at least we are able to get our essentials. We can go to the grocery shop and get some of our essentials. But if those things are also not available, that situation comes. Just imagine how difficult it would be. So the days are evil. As we go further and further, it's going to be evil and evil only. So let's look into this word and we will understand few of the practical things this morning to keep or make our days, make every opportunity useful one for each one of us. Okay, as uh, 
Isaiah the prophet he puts forth in this way in Isaiah chapter 26 verse 20 for behold sorry uh, 26 20 come my people enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you hide yourself as it were for a little moment until the indignation is past or the anger of god is gone until that moment you shut yourself seclude yourself keep yourself inside that's what we read today i want to just bring to your notice if you are not careful enough to spend our time with all wisdom now we will be wasting our time many of us are at home either work from home or we are simply at home we are spending our time at our homes if you are not careful enough to plan our day plan our time management the days will be completely wasted okay we are the spirit beings the spirit man the inner man is the real who we are so what we feed on to that inner man matters the most so what do we do in these days so to help everyone so simple so pra- practical uh so simple practical guidelines okay i just want to list it out under four categories why some people may continuously sit before the tv newspaper and the phones the time is gone because it is not well planned enough some people ha <laughs> after the breakfast they may just go to sleep and they will get up and have lunch again they may go to sleep and evening some hours and after they will have dinner again they will go to sleep because nothing is planned for them to do so my intention is to encourage each one of you you are at home of course you are supposed to be at home but you shouldn't be idle you shouldn't be lazy right we have to keep ourselves motivated we have to keep ourselves engaged we have to plan our day so this message is a simple practical guideline for each one to just plan out a day and make use of the day and the opportunity even the shutdown is on we are remaining in our homes so there are four categories as i said one is spiritual spiritual life the second one is the physical physically how we are keeping ourselves the third one is the family fourth one is the social under all the four categories i have four practical guideline so that's the reason i just asked you to take down uh, if you are having any electric electronic gadgets and you want to type it out you can do that or if you want to write it down you can write it down it may be a helpful one number one the category one is the spiritual thing now we have more time unlike the past regular days we have more time at home we have to plan to feed in our spirit man right the sp- spiritual life must be kept active we are not able to come together worship together meet together there is no fellowship with one another physically at the same time we can just do something what we can so that we can keep our spirit man alive spirit man active spirit man getting strengthened by what we are doing So under that there are four practical guidelines one is reading meditating and studying the scriptures we can have some plan to read out maybe the entire new testament now some of us can read and finish it before the shutdown comes to an end right when you read not only you read but meditate those scriptures try to study the scriptures when you do that 
as a process of it we can try to memorize some scriptures not only the children even the adults sisters brothers everyone can take some time to memorize the scriptures for an example no uh, the 10 commandments if you are not very much familiar with that you can try to memorize those 10 commandments the lord's prayer and as you read the scripture no as you get the light enlightenment from the scriptures you want to underline it you want to make note of it those scriptures you can try to memorize it so reading meditating and studying the scripture also memorizing the scripture that would help the number two under the category of spiritual prayer and fasting so you are at home more time is there you can just plan for your prayer personal time of prayer and also the church has announced 21 days of chain fasting and prayer you and your family can take a day and let us also know what day you are going to fast and pray as a family so more time in the presence of god seeking the face of god now if you can you can just be in prayer with fasting not necessarily all the days in the fasting but partially you can be on fasting some days you can set apart for the full fasting and fasting and prayer your spirit man gets strengthened you are in the presence of god you read the scripture and you are also in prayer you are in fasting it all would help the third practical guideline under this category of spiritual one listen to the messages of the men of god or the women of god uh, wonderful messages are available in youtube now you have to choose the right ones which would edify your spirit man which would give the information and also you can learn from the word of god through those messages you can just listen to those messages you can go to youtube and uh, even if you have some already no pen in pen drive or in cd format if you have the messages at your home these are the good times that you can make use of it you can listen to the messages right at least one message a day right you can just plan in that way the fourth one if you have some spiritual books at home it's a good time you can read the spiritual books written by the anointed men of god this is a good time you can just spend time you now to get the insight from those those books so you compare your study with the uh, the book uh, and also you go to the bible and you just search the scripture study the scripture and uh, try to understand the truth of god's word so taking effort spending time in the presence of god to understand god's word and spending time in god's presence in your prayer and adding to that prayer uh, with your fasting that all will help you know to plan your spiritual life we may not come together for a couple of weeks like that but make sure that you are getting strengthened in your inner man by spending quality time in God's presence reading the scripture studying the scripture may God bless you the second category is the physical thing see we are at home we don't have much work to do you know many of us it's very difficult situation how long it's going to be oh being at home in a locked up situation it's kind of a sicky feeling and uh, you want to go out do uh, to do something but you can't do that but at the same time i want to encourage you plan for your physical well-being even as you are in this lockdown situation you are at home but you have to keep yourself active right so under this four practical guidelines number 1 do some simple exercise right uh, i just want to encourage each one of you young people men women all those who are watching me just keep yourself active do some simple exercises now you can just go to youtube maybe um, take some 
uh, tips from the from youtube and do it along and maybe 30 minutes in the morning 30 minutes in the evening or skipping if you can do skipping and if you have a uh, the the rope with you and you have a facility at your home do something or stationary running jumping and some stretching now keep yourself active sweat it out keep your physical body active active don't be idle don't be idle okay uh, the number 2 in this what else can i do pastor no i have to tell to some people take bath regularly so since you you know you are at home uh, just uh, throughout the day just don't spend like that now get ready in the morning all right take a shower be fresh and uh, keep your mind also fresh with that your physical body also is active and if you want to you know keep yourself active right no with that uh, wash your own clothes now if you want to put in a washing machine only all the time your wife does that no take that children only your mother does all the time take and put it if you don't know learn the things and uh, the washed clothes you just take it out and put it for drying and bring it and fold it uh, nicely and keep it iron it so th- th- these are little little smaller practical things but keep your physical body active don't all the time sit on the chair or lie down um, all the time in front of the tv and the phone don't keep uh, yourself in that way right uh, keep yourself active um the third one you can do some cleaning work right your rooms can be cleaned your almira can be cleaned your washrooms can be cleaned you can do some some cleaning work and uh, no you do something right if you want to uh, bring a change in your setup uh, pull down some of your sofas and chairs to that other direction and put this that that direction and change a little bit and keep that if you don't like it again bring it in the same position if you don't like it uh, the way it was you know just try to change do something you know nothing we are going to lose within uh, uh, within yourself inside of your house you can do anything okay the fourth one it's very important one don't eat more be careful be cautious being at home having nothing to do anything much tend to eat more snacks tea coffee and several other things of course be careful not to eat more if you are eating more and uh, doing nothing at home you will put on weight when you put on weight there are possibilities to get your bp high then you will get angry then you will be shouting and all these things will follow keep yourself fit uh, don't eat more whatever you need that alone you eat drink plenty of water keep yourself fit right uh, because be cautious not to eat more okay the third one is the family okay the first one is spiritual part the second one is a physical part third one is the family part of course you all are at home unless you are in essential service or in the medical service most of you are at home as you are at home my question here is are you spending your time together with the family i want you to think about that right you are at home but think uh, just imagine each one takes their phone and goes to the different corners and speaking over the phone for several minutes so throughout the day that's the uh, story sometime tv sometime phone sometime sleep but no quality time spent with the family 
I want you to consciously take effort to make use of this opportunity to spend quality time with your family, with your wife, with your husband, with your children, with your parents. Make use of this opportunity to spend quality time. Okay? Uh, so I have four practical guidelines here. Number one, have a quality family prayer time. Plan for it. Plan for it. Quality family prayer time. You may sing one or two songs. You can just ask your children to choose their, their, their favorite songs and uh, you can ask them also to lead in singing. In that way, no singing part would be alive. And read the Bible together as a family. Maybe a, a chapter or two chapters or a portion of the Bible. You know, you can ask, right? Um, head of the family starts, he reads two verses. And wife reads two verses and the children read two, two verses. And again, it goes like that. So get them involved. Read the Bible together. Quality prayer time together as a family. And you can ask each one to make a, a short prayer. Right? Current situation, church, your family matters, the need, the future, the nations of the world. Now you can ask the family members to just pray a short prayers. Each one will pray. Like that, just make it as a family prayer involving everyone. Number two, ye together as a family. No, you all are being, uh, you all are at home. But uh, everyone uh, will come to eat in a different timing, uh, in spite of being at home, right? We, we are just losing that opportunity, wasting the time to be together with the family, right? Uh, uh, when you come to a uh, dining table or when you come to eat together, don't attend the phone calls, right? Keep it aside. Spend time together as a family. Eat together, eat together. Fix a time. Okay, this is our breakfast time. This is our lunch time. This is uh, dinner time. We are going to eat together. At least two meals a day during these days. Eat together as a family. Right? Spend time together. Okay? Uh, that's so important. Okay? Uh, no TV. Watching the TV and eating. No. During the time of that, that's a family time. You just talk with one another, right? Uh, just have some, right, conversation together within you family members and eat together. The third one, husbands, be supportive to your wife. Children, be supportive to your mother. You just think about that. All the time she only does all the household work. Right? You go outside for the work, you go for the uh, college or the school. She does everything at home most of the time. Now you all are at home. She only does everything now also. And uh, you only just spend time with the TV and uh, mobile phone and other things, playing and all. And she only does all the household things. Now as a family, right? you have to support her. You have to work uh, for, no, you have to help her in order to do that. How? You can wash the dish, you can cut the vegetables. Sometime, if everyone would be willing to eat, when you cook, try to cook also. Uh, this may not be applicable for everyone, but if, uh, if you can, you can try if your family members dare enough to eat. If you are new, uh, inventions, whatever, right? And have some fun, right? Right, have some fun. Play with your children, all right? Uh, all the time, no, in some of the families, like, oh, he is at home all the time. Oh, much, much worse than the coronavirus. Don't say like that. Don't make the things in that way. And some husbands would uh, say like, Oh, I'm all the time at home and she is also there. <laughs> Coronavirus is better than my wife. Don't say like that. 
don't say like that right don't uh, make your home like you know uh, the home where the complaints where the murmurings are there have fun the fourth one is spend your time with your family right with your husband with your wife with your children with your parents talk to them share something spend time right you see look at the situation when the patients are in the icu ward during this corona virus attack many people are not able to go and see their loved ones and they say even when they die nobody is allowed to stand around th- that kind of situation even some of their burials are taking place without anybody but you and me have a wonderful opportunity to be with our family to spend time together with our family don't miss out it don't waste this opportunity my beloved just enjoy the time together the fourth category is the social one i said under this i just want to bring four practical guidelines to get your attention number 1 love your neighbors as yourself says the word there are hundreds and thousands of people living around us they don't have job they don't have money they don't have anything to eat in that kind of situation no if it comes to our notice if you can try to do something no do something to bless some at least few people who are having nothing absolutely nothing no share something that you can number 2 if this condition prevails more definitely surely the district administration would need more volunteers to help them now itself they have come up with the uh, uh the wanted volunteers notice so when it comes to that kind of situation be prepared to support the district and administration to serve the community which is affected we the christians we the believers we who are serving jesus christ we need to serve the people who are in need of course taking all the protocol all the precautionary measures those who can go out and help the district administration as they want as they need be willing to do that be prepared to do that right so that's uh, another thing that i just want to put it for your consideration the third one your family members outside of the city different places and uh, uh, colleagues of yours friends in different places call them and inquire them and just give them the hope that comes from the world right the world gives always the confusion and the hopeless news sent to them but when you call your friend when you call your neighbor when you call your colleague or family members give them the message of the hope speak to them with faith you now with the hope and may the word of god be passed on to them through you and let them get the word of god and be encouraged ask them can i pray for you just make a simple prayer over the phone itself if you can and ask them anything you have a concern can i pray for you somebody may tell there is no job there is no income different situation take that concerns upon your heart and pray for them you are just ministering unto them the fourth one under the social thing i would like to say at least a day in a day call five of our families in the church in our groups right just speak to them not other things and all just speak to them briefly inquire about their welfare and pray with them encourage one another and you know share the fellowship in that way together over the phone using this facilities so in that way we can make use of this days i said first one the spiritual the second one is the physical the third one is the family the fourth one is the social make a plan and make use of the days the maximum benefits 
maximum usage of these days, how we can do it. And you can just plan and make use of these opportunities. It would be a blessing to all of us. Otherwise, many of us would be wasting it away. Wasting it away, sleeping more time and uh, simply sitting, simply spending the time, killing the time. Let's not do that. Let's not keep our mind idle. Let's keep focused. Let's keep more ourselves motivated. Let's keep ourselves engaged, being at home in this lockdown, uh, lockdown situation. No, let's make use of every opportunity. May God bless you. May God bless you. So here are a few announcements. Please listen to it. This may be helpful for you. As a church, we have announced a 21 days chain fasting and prayer. That means each family can take one day fasting. So you can just uh, uh, choose a day and let us also know that so that we will make your name in the list and continuously 21 days the fasting and prayer is going on. Apart from that, every day there is a chain prayer has been mobilized. So you can also have your own time of prayer. Maybe morning, afternoon or evening or both the times. Uh, half an hour, one hour like that. You can choose your time and let us know. So that we just have made a list for the chain prayer. More number of hours of prayer being raised up in our homes. Being at your home you can join the prayer army and pray together. Okay? Then the next week, uh, the following week, April 1st, Wednesday, and April 3rd, Friday, both the days, evening 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., we are going to have a worship come intercession. It's going to be live on Facebook and the YouTube channel. You can just uh, log on to YouTube channel of a church channel icrm central church and also facebook page icrm central church you can be a part of it april 1st and april 3rd wednesday and friday evening 7 to 8 and very important announcement about the next sunday april 5th sunday that's going to be the communion service how are we going to handle it we cannot come together we are uh, you are going to be at your home only and uh, there will be online service. We will conduct the communion service. We will have a prayer from here. And you can have bread or bun or chapati made at home. You know, as a symbolic element of the body of Christ. You no, know, For the body of Christ. You can have that one. And you can just make some grape juice or you can... Uh, buy from outside or you can make by yourself. Uh, you can just make and keep that. And the head of the family can join at the time with the prayer and you can just give it to your family members. And if you're an individual uh, and you can just be a part of that prayer and you can take part in that. So we are going to have a communion service in the next Sunday worship service. So come prepared when you come and sit uh, for the worship service, right? For that. So that's what. The next one is regarding offering part. Just I want to give four steps how you can do that. One is you can see the account details on the screen. You can transfer offerings, tithes to the church account directly uh, by bank transfer. The second one is Google Pay. Google Pay, Phone Pay, Paytm, anything that you have. Now, we have a, a business account under the Google Pay for our church, ICRM Central Church. You have to type my phone number, 9845-945-680. Then you will see under the businesses, ICRM Central Church. So through that, you can pay your offerings, even tithes under the church account. And also we have screened the QR code of this Google Pay, Paytm and uh, Phone Pay. That's a QR code. You use any other mobile and scan it, even the screen, and you can just pay. And if you're not able to do anything of this, and if you want to separately take your offering and tithes on the, in a cover, keep it, and once everything is 
normal when we come together to the church if you want to bring that also one of the ways that you can do it it is just to handle the situation the days like that we have just put it before you for you to consider whatever the way that you can do it god bless have a wonderful week let's pray together now father thank you so much once again thank you for the people who are there online worshiping together we pray that you would touch every one of them bless them oh father keep them safe and sound let their homes be protected all their needs be met physically lord mentally spiritually keep them safe and sound oh god i pray that god's blessings be upon them upon their family we give you the glory and honor in jesus precious name we pray amen amen may the grace of the lord jesus christ love of god the father and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit abide with each one of us now and forevermore amen amen god bless you god bless you have a wonderful blessed week mm -hmm.